Good morning, modern steaders. The hip is feeling good this morning, thanks for asking. The nail wound is healing up nicely. It's nice and chilly again this morning. It's 47 degrees out. I like these brisk mornings. This is my kind of weather. I wish there was a place that had six months of this kind of weather. Good morning, ladies. Moose, you're looking good. Getting all your feathers back. Our video is right now three to four days behind depending on our uploading schedule. I've been working six days a week on the garage build and we only upload five days a week so I have a couple of videos ahead in the queue <clears throat> which makes it nice so in days like when I shoot myself with a nail I can take a day off <laughs> the following day. Good morning Figaro. <clears throat> My voice is cracking. I can take a day off but still have footage to edit for you guys. <laughs> so I was kind of relieved that I had extra footage built up. I still got a couple of days. Now, yeah, I'm two days ahead. So once the build's all done, we'll be back on our normal upload schedule. So if anybody's wondering why we're a little behind, that's why. But man, it's a beautiful morning out this morning. What's the matter? There's stuff. You got some mouse turds? Wonder. I'll set up the mouse trap out here again because it's in here. We've gotten one mouse with it so far. We'll have to move it back to the mouse. The mouse. We'll have to move it back to the milking room. And catch the mouse that's in here. I've had no, no evidence. Yeah, no. We'll have to try out your. Oh, that's right. We had some viewers send up some new style mouse traps. We'll have to get one of them set up and try them oh. out in here. You got a mouse in there? No. Gosh, you think I'd be acting like that? <laughs> Is there mouse poop in there? Yes. Now I gotta clean this. Oh. You ladies ready for some breakfast? Come on. We'll go out to the compost piles. Let's put it right up here on this one. We'll get him playing King of the Mountain. What you wanted? Are you gonna come visit Willow? Oh, here you come. What are you doing? <laughs> you did the same thing yesterday. You waiting patiently for your raisin? You didn't put your tongue out as much as you usually do. You can't go see the boys, it's too early. If you have go see the boys now, you'll have your baby too early. We breed our goats now, it's still too early and they'll have babies in not nice weather. So we like to wait one more month if we can. You can't go see the boys. Nope. No. You're noisy. You're noisy. Good morning. Tricked ya. Nope. Right. Right there. Right there. And right there. I think we can all agree that 2020 has been a crazy year and it's gonna go down in the history books. <laughs> For this year our goal was to grow as much of our own food as possible. And that was before all of the COVID stuff hit and then once all that stuff hit we were like we need to grow all more of our own food even more so that way we can have more, even more healthy, nutritious food for us this was the main goal. We won't be able to have good food that's gonna keep us healthy. So we've just been very cr busy this year on the homestead with that goal in mind, trying to raise as much of our own food as possible. That's why we did the greenhouse to extend our growing season, the new building over here, right here. 
we did that so we can have more animal stalls so maybe we can get some sheep or a milking cow or a beef steer that kind of stuff and then the new project that we have lined up that's going to help with that goal even more but that was something that just came up we'll be able to share that with you in another week or so so i can't wait to share that with you but that's another one of being able to grow more of our own food what has 2020 had in store for you you ladies want to get fed i'll be right there all the animals on the homestead are noisy this morning you ladies have got a muddy, muddy mess going on over here, don't you? There you go. Man, they are so big. I can't wait to find out how much they weigh. This year we've almost tripled the amount of food we're growing on the homestead. We still have one more batch of meat birds to process and our outdoor kitchen is loaded with all of our chicken processing stuff which we need to get out we're gonna be harvesting our pigs here in another day so we need to get this cleaned up and get everything set up and prepped for harvesting our pigs this pile of gravel today we've got to move it and make a road to the greenhouse and we're gonna put the rest down in the new garage it won't be enough to finish off the garage floor but we can get started with that we gotta get down here set up we have our I call it our meat pole right here. This is where we hang our pigs from to do all of the eviscerating and not fun and pleasant stuff. So we gotta clean up all this area so we can get to that. And then we're gonna be making some delicious pork products here on the homestead in the next few videos. But we gotta get prepped and everything set up so we can accomplish that. I'm gonna show you our outdoor kitchen, how we set that up and how we prep it for harvesting. And we'll be getting out our tools and we'll be showing you what we use.
why don't you walk up this and let me know what you think, if it's a good natural grade for you, or if you think we need to taper it a little bit more and not make it so steep. Come here, figure out. Both of you. He's coming. Coming. Here comes the foreman. Here you come. Well, I think it's fine, but do you think it kind of gets slippery? Depends on how much ice we get this winter. Chest feels hollow and my hands are numb. Do my best to swallow all the things I've done. I like that. It's kind of funny since we live in a northern climate when we're doing stuff like this. I'm always thinking, what's gonna make it easier for winter time? I don't want to make more work come winter time. I want to make it so we can plow it or shovel it easily. I think this will really assist with that. But it's just funny thinking of a greenhouse, but we want to be able to get in here and get all of our fall and winter food, even in the middle of winter. So we want to have a good path to it. But yeah, that's going to be nice. Gina's down below waiting for us. So let's get down there. the new garage to store it in until we need it again. What are the odds we can get this trail load down below without having anything fall off? <laughs> Leave it in the comments down below. I'm hoping it all stays on there, but that usually doesn't happen. Some of our gardening stuff put away and organized for now. That feels good. Feels nice to start organizing all the garden stuff. We won't be using most of that until next spring. I know I can't back this trailer up that quick, so we're gonna do it by hand. I can have it all jacked like into the mule. We also have stuff hanging off the side. You should have had me do it. With the mule? I probably couldn't even drive. Do you want me to help push? That feels good having a place undercover to store all this stuff. 
Been up for a taco over though, because I can see the chickens coming over here and pooing all in the washing machine. We don't need that. Giving all your sunflowers to the chickens. Those ones. They're gonna love it. Wanna take them off with you? They just take them off, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they don't need one. How are those seeds? Those good? So I tried giving the goats, the pigs, the sweet potato vines, and the only animals that ate them were the pigs, so. We're gonna give the rest of these vines to the pigs while we're down here. Yum. This thing from the ground up out of nothing No flight plan, no manual to be found You and I, we're driving in the dark Without headlights Trying to find our way It's hard telling where we'll be In the coming days I'll be there with you It's hard telling where we'll be in the coming days I'll be there with you I'll be here with you Built a wall around my heart to stop the bleeding I'm more to make of all the words that I should have said to you and we're walking through the fire and the smoke clouds trying to find our way it's hard telling where we'll be the coming days will I know I said I was gonna move this gravel pile down to the new barn slash garage, but then I remembered every year when we're doing harvesting down here, it really wasn't wide enough for doing the harvesting down here, so I said, you know what? Let's fill those holes in, make it a little bit more level down here this year. This will be nice. What a nice fall afternoon, yeah, huh? It's so nice. Look at all the leaves on the ground. Mm. How many eggs? Um, eight. Eight? Yeah. I'll say ten eggs. What do you think, Moose? How many eggs do you guess? Ooh, it seems like a mother load. Two, four, six. Eight, ten. What? Now, if your chickens have laid seven eggs today, we'll really be styling. Yeah, we will. Did you find Tanner? Yeah, I saw him walking with the chicken. I did the eye. So nice, though. What are you girls all doing in the barn? Look at you two, you three, you five. It's a beautiful day. There I was like, yeah, 
Oh, I'm just gonna stay right here. Let's see. Two. Four. Six. And then I found a new pile under the goat bed. But I don't know how old they are, so we won't keep them today. You're keeping an eye on everybody, Figaro, or what? You see what Figaro is? Yeah. I'll we'll give these two eggs to the pigs as a treat. You ladies are covered in mud. You're loving it, aren't you? Looks like he ate most of the sweet potato leaves. Ew, they covered me in slobber. There's two eggs in there, since you ladies are being pushy, I couldn't give them to you. The pigs are at that stage when all they care about is food. They get very pushy. See, if you go in there, they just kind of, they don't like try to eat your legs, but they just go after you and they keep pushing at you and they get to a stage when they're so big and so old that that's all they think about is food 24 seven. We got six eggs from your flock. Six eggs, we got 16 eggs today, Tanner. 16, right. can you believe it? And I found two more laying under the boys' bed, but I didn't know how long oh, they were really? there for. Yes, yeah, so we got eight total. Eight, so I would have gotten 18. Yep, yeah, I gave those two to the pigs. It's the next morning and it is raining out pretty good. It's supposed to rain all day today. I'm glad today's not the day we're gonna be harvesting the pigs. We have one more day. Today we're gonna finish getting set up. We're gonna have the whole setup in two videos because it's kind of boring to have two videos of us just getting prepped and ready. A lot of prep work for harvesting our pigs, especially when we had gravel all over the place. But now we gotta get the outdoor kitchen finished setting up and just a little few things here and there we're gonna tweak. We have some friends coming over to help us tomorrow and that'll be in the following video. We'll have two days of harvesting all combined in one video again. But I'm glad we got the gravel spread yesterday and we didn't have to do it today in the rain. And it's a nice chilly rain. We need to finish getting some stuff out of the outdoor kitchen to get set up. Let me get some lights plugged in in here. That's better with some lights on in here. Believe it or not, we built this outdoor kitchen three years ago, four years ago now, for a pig harvesting class. That was the big motivator to get this built. We built this at the post and beam structure. We had everything here. The only thing we had to buy is we had to buy concrete for the concrete floor and the tin for the roofs. And then once we had everything done, later on we went back and we put metal on the walls to keep it cleaner. But we had the windows in here from a construction job that I worked on and the person was getting rid of their eight foot tall sliding glass doors. We used those for the windows. So I'm glad we got this built. It comes in really handy for harvesting our pigs, our chickens, and all the other growing of food harvesting that we do here to keep the mess out of the house. To give our tables a good wipe down with a heavy coat of mineral oil. I'll probably put two or three coats on in the next couple of days. Probably do two today and then one tomorrow morning. Ooh, that makes the wood look so pretty. It just pops. I like having some good sturdy wooden tables to cut on. We'll have cutting boards under them, but this way if you miss or something happens, you're not cutting on plastic or stainless steel. You got the wood when you're chopping. You don't get the bounce. Like if you have a stainless steel table, even if you're cutting on top of it with a cutting board, you still kind of have that bounce. This just kind of softens the blow and makes it easier. This table right here is made out of cutting boards. When I used to work at a furniture factory, any of the scrap wood cutoffs, we were able to save them. And I would glue them up and I'd make cutting boards out of them. And then I had this, oh, what kind of wood this is from a job we did. 
building a deck and the guys were going to throw it away so I saved this wood built the frame and then I inlaid our cutting boards and it works perfect for harvesting our pigs on I like it when you're able to get creative and build different projects from leftover materials and they're all unique they all have a story I'll let these sit for a little while, absorb the oil, and then we'll be back and apply another coat to them. We have some friends coming over to help out with our pig harvest, and I just like to make sure there is options for food available for them. I'm going to make some zucchini muffins, so if they didn't have breakfast or want a snack, also think I'm going to make some chocolate chip cookies. Maybe that's for me. No. So I like to have um, just easy, quick options, and I've really been craving some chocolate chip cookies myself. So I have my flour, my baking powder, and my baking um, soda already in here. And then I'm going to do some cinnamon. This is my favorite time, it's cookie time. I have a weakness for chocolate chip cookies. So I am making a double batch because I wanna make sure there is enough for everyone that will be here. So I am going to make sure I do a double batch so that way I don't eat them all. No, I will try to limit myself here. So everything you see here is doubled. So I know it's gonna look like a lot. This is my favorite time. It's cookie time. I creamed together my brown sugar and my butter. Now I'm going to go ahead and add eggs. Definitely giving this mixture a workout here. <gasps> that was terrible, terrible, terrible. Ah! I don't even know what to do with this. Take two. Let's try to get this one in the bowl.
add my chocolate chips in here. This is probably not enough of the double batch, but we'll see. I'll have to be the one cleaning up the kitchen because the cleaning fairy hasn't showed up yet. So I guess I am a cleaning fairy. <laughs> Luckily it's just flour. Well, now we're ready for pig harvesting. It's a bittersweet day, but we're set up. We're ready for it. We got some good food to eat. So that'll be in the next video. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to do that. And while you're down there, turn on notifications. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow in the next video.